Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be diving into some more gaming news here. After the whole recent events of Sony censoring the release of Stellar Blade, it now looks like they're mandating Helldivers 2 players on PC that they have to link the game to a PlayStation Network account, or I'm assuming they lose access to the game at some point, which is insane. But this video is going to take on two parts, guys. In the first part, we're going to have a breakdown of this article, see what's going on with Sony and um, Helldivers 2, and then we're going to go over to Twitter and we're going to check out some of the community feedback regarding this news and uh, see what people are saying about it. So this article comes to us from comicflicknews.com. This article is titled Helldivers 2, Sony mandates Steam PSN account linkage for PC players. Yeah, so if you're a PC player and you play Helldivers and you've never even owned a PlayStation, there's still going to be a mandatory linkage between your um, Helldivers 2 account and a PlayStation Network account. That has to happen at some point. We're going to break it down so hopefully it becomes a bit more clear. So Sony Interactive Entertainment, the publisher behind Helldivers 2, has made a controversial decision that has left many fans frustrated. Despite fixing technical issues, they've announced a new requirement for PC players. Now to access the game, players must link their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. This move has drawn criticism and risks tarnishing the reputation of this beloved democracy spreading simulator. I do like that description there, democracy spreading simulator. But yeah, that's kind of a small breakdown there. So if you own the game on PC, you have no, you know, if you don't have a PlayStation or you don't have a PlayStation Network account, it's going to be mandatory that you get a PlayStation Network account and you link it to your Helldivers 2 account or you're going to have no access to a game in which you paid your hard earned money for. And I understand why people are very upset about that. Um, yeah, and it's caused a lot of backlash. But like I say, we'll have a look on Twitter in a sec, guys, and uh, see what people are saying about that. So this was the official announcement here that was put out from Helldivers 2 about this, um, about what's going on with linking to a PlayStation Network account. Let's have a read of this and see what they had to say. So it says here, um, Helldivers 2 account linking update. So attention, Helldivers. Due to a technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. So account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, here's where it's important guys. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see mandatory login from May 30th, will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up and they give you a link here where you can set one up. We understand that while this may be inconvenient for some of you, this step will help us to continue build a community where you are all proud to be part of. Many thanks and continue to support for Helldivers 2. And that comes from Sony Interactive Entertainment. So yeah, guys, that was the announcement that Sony put out here regarding linking your account, whether you're a new player, whether you're a, an existing player, and the kind of dates where this kind of mandatory linkage has to be acquired by. Or I'm assuming, like I said, you lose access to the game in which you paid your money for, which is just ridiculous. So while some may question why PC-based Helldivers players are upset, after all, creating a PlayStation Network account is free. Yeah, I completely get that. It is free. The issue with Sony Interactive Entertainment's new requirement isn't about cost, but it's about convenience. So when a company introduces more hurdles for customers to enjoy their product, it decreases the likelihood of engagement. That's absolutely true. If you have the smallest little obstacle in front of someone when they're trying to purchase something, subscribe to something, they're trying to find out about information of a product, it really just puts people off. Like people are really lazy. They really are. People are just in this day and age are so lazy. If there's like one small obstacle in the way of them trying to attain a product or trying to get access to a service, then a lot of people will give up. They'll look for alternatives and it just puts people off your product or service. So it's absolutely true what it says here. So the mandatory account linking doesn't benefit players seeking convenience of Arrowhead games, which may suffer a minor reputational hit. Instead, it primarily benefits Sony, potentially boosting engagement and revenue for the PSN ecosystem with an influx of new users. You think of how many millions of people have bought this game 
And now they're all going to have to be forced to sign up to PlayStation Network. So that's millions, that's potentially millions of new customers for Sony and the PlayStation Network to be buying digital goods on their service. So you can understand why they're doing this. When it comes to a marketing perspective, it's kind of a smart tactic and I get why they would do this. Like I said, potentially millions of more customers browsing their PlayStation Network store and purchasing things. I absolutely get why they would do this, but still, it doesn't get around the fact that it's pissing a lot of people off. So, we have this funny picture here, which I found on Twitter earlier. I think it's quite funny. So, for those of you who have played Helldivers, inside the game, you have this map here. And it shows where the enemies are. So, you have the um, you have the robot side, and then you have the Terminids. And it shows kind of where their boundaries of their kind of, um, their ecosystem is. Their kind of attack and defense. But then also at the bottom here, someone inserted Sony as an enemy within the game. <laughs> So Sony is now the third enemy inside the Helldivers game and I thought this meme here was quite funny <laughs> So adding insult to injury it's worth noting that despite mandating players to link their steam and PSN accounts Arrowhead games has not announced any plans to introduce cross account progression into the title as of now So if you have the game on PlayStation and you have the game on Steam and you have those two accounts connected you can't, um, you know, continue your progression from PlayStation onto Steam or Steam onto PlayStation. They've not announced anything to do with that. So it doesn't benefit the player in any way. All it does is benefit Sony and add obstacles in the way of kind of trying to play the game. But guys, yeah, that's kind of where we are. So if you don't link your Steam and your PSN account by the kind of, re um, by the kind of desired uh, date that they're kind of putting out, then you're going to lose access to the game that you've paid for. But let's go over to uh, Twitter, let's read some of the community backlash uh, comments and let's see what people are saying because it's quite funny. So guys, coming over here on Twitter, we have the official Helldivers 2 uh, Twitter account, at Helldivers 2. Make sure you follow this account if you play this game, guys. They put out great information. Obviously, it's from the uh, publishers. So Helldivers 2, an important message from our partner PlayStation about account linking for PC players and it's significant in providing player safety features. So obviously we've read the uh, the main um, account linking update here, but let's go down and read some of these um, posts and see what people are saying. If we go on to here, we can read it a bit better. So uh, from Meme Bastard, by the way, guys, follow this account here. Meme Bastard is so good; they put out such funny stuff. So PlayStation holding back uh, gamers again. Yeah, obviously talking in reference to what happened with Stellar Blade holding back players. Um, this post must be made by communist robots. The only possible explanation: pure bot propaganda. <laughs> The robots within the game actually made this post. <laughs> so, was this clearly agreed to by customers before they bought the game on Steam? Surely you didn't just bait and switch everyone to play past the two-hour refund window, then change a contract. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's a really cynical way of looking at it. They got everybody to sign up for this game. Everybody purchased this game, played past the two-hour window, and now it's like, ha ha ha, now no one can get refunds. We're going to force them to sign up to PlayStation Network. That's kind of a really cynical way, and it's kind of a bit conspiracy, kind of tinfoil hat. But um, it's one way of looking at it, for sure. So, I'm sure this will be very well received by PC players, and everything will be smiles and rainbows. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. From some of these comments, you'll see that it's not going to be smiles and rainbows. Picture here of one of the robots here, typing out this post. That's quite funny. Um, this is not a good idea. I don't have a PlayStation account. I don't want a PlayStation account. Are you telling me I have to have a PlayStation account? Yeah, it does seem that way, guys. You do have to sign up for a PlayStation account, even if you don't want one, even if you don't own a PlayStation, um, then it's kind of a mandatory thing. What part about me playing on PC made you think that I wanted anything to do with PlayStation? <laughs> uninstalling i wouldn't go that far like at the end of the day this game is like it's so good this get like i can be a hell divers 2 fanboy all day this game is incredible the mechanics the gameplay the graphics everything about this game and the live service they've done so far is incredible when it comes to this game so i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt it does piss me off a little bit that i have to sign up for a psn account but if it allows me to play this game then i'm all happy for it because this game is pretty damn incredible now, after 80 hours of game time and playing for the PC version, I'm going to be forced to make an account for a console which I don't own and for a company which I have no intention of using an account for. And I don't. Do and if I don't do it, I'll be locked out of a game which I purchased. Yeah, so that right there is the crux of what's going on. You're going to be locked out of a game that you have purchased with your own hard money if you don't sign up to PlayStation Network. That's kind of where it pisses me off a little bit. That's where a lot of people are really going to kind of get mad at this situation here, that part there. That they're going to lose access to a game that they paid for. On a related note, what a coincidence. 
Um, new Sony patent would auto detect in game harassment by using biometric data to read your emotions. I don't like that. That sounds like encroachment to me. I don't really like that kind of stuff. Um, only PlayStation game that requires an account, by the way. Um, requires third party account. PlayStation Network supports linking to Steam account. So, yeah, there's a picture here of um, telling you here that it's restricted and needs to be um, requires a third party account on PlayStation. So, people are just not going to receive this news well, guys. Welp, I will be uninstalling and demanding a refund. Uh, PSN is more unsecure platform and has been hacked multiple times. There is no reason, as a PC player, I should need to set up a PlayStation Network account. Get bent. <laughs> Mate, Twitter just has me, like, it has me in stitches. The comments are so funny. We'll read one more here, guys, just so we can get a good sample size of what's going on. Um, there's a solution to this. Everyone demand a refund from Steam at the same time due to the inability to play the game. Make this as big as a headache as you can. Make whoever made the call here take it back. Yeah, if everyone demanded a refund from this game at the same point, although they wouldn't be able to get it because they're past the two-hour refund mark, but, you know, it would cause a massive headache for Steam. PlayStation, again, would have a massive headache on their hands after the whole Stellar Blade thing. But yeah, Sony is very quickly losing all of their reputation within the gaming industry, and it's not looking good. Uh, so Steam account is all about PC players, should need an order to play a PC game. Uh, that's all. Why are we being forced to connect to PlayStation Network? I think it's time for a refund unless you guys come to your senses. I'm confused on why people are mad at this. It takes two minutes to make a PSN account. It's not so much the fact that, you know, making a PSN account is free, like we've said, but it's just adding an obstacle in the way of people playing their games. It's forcing you to do something that you don't want to do in order to maintain access to something you've purchased. And that's where the whole thing lies. And that's why people are pissed off. The fact that it's kind of blackmailing you, you have no choice but to kind of do what they say. Otherwise, you lose access to a game you paid for. So, guys, that's kind of a small sample size there of just what people are saying. That, you know, I'm a PC player and I play this game on Steam. I have no intention of owning a PlayStation. Why would I need to sign up to a PlayStation Network account to play a game on Steam? It makes no sense. And it's pissed a lot of people off inside the community. And Sony is facing more backlash again after what's happened with Stellar Blade, like we keep talking about. But guys, jump into the comment section. Are you a Helldivers 2 player? What do you think about this news? Does it not bother you whatsoever? Does it bother you a lot? What do you think about it? Post your comments in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this, whether you think it's a big deal or not a big deal. And um, thank you so much for checking out my content. Hit that like and subscribe if you do enjoy these videos. And I will see you in the next one.